Hey everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly. We'd like to thank all of our new subscribers. Yes, thank you. You guys are awesome. Uh, if you're digging a show, please subscribe. We'd love that. And today's show is awesome because we have Finn from Adventure Time, voice actor and musician Jeremy Shada. Let's, Let's get, get buzzed. buzzed. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to VO Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacy J. Aswan. Guys, you love our guest as Finn in Adventure Time, Lance in Voltron, and he is also a super talented musician and singer in his band, Makeout Monday. We are so happy to have him here. We are getting buzzed with the awesome Jeremy Shada. Ooh, thanks for Welcome. having me. Shader. You guys dude. make me sound so much cooler than I actually no, am. No, dude, that's, that's not even true. Dude, it's like, you are way cooler than we make you <laughs> oh, sound. thank you. You have the cred um, on your own, my friend. Absolutely. So happy to have you here. Yeah, yeah dude. To, to I remember the first time that I ever met you yes. was at a con. I was yep. with Jess Harnell. Hanging out in the green and, room. Totally. And Jess was like, dude, you got to meet my friend Jeremy, blah, blah. And then you were, I guess you had like a new single or your band or something. You had, yeah. you, you want, can, dude, can mm -hmm. I hear it? And you let me hear it on mm -hmm. a on a little thing, uh, iPod or That's whatever it was like, that you had? probably, I want to say like at least two, maybe three years ago? I would say, it yeah, was yeah, a while ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you were like 12 back then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like this, I was this, I'm only this high now, now but I was like this high He's all grown up. Yeah. <laughs> he's a big boy. <laughs> so good to boy. have you here, dude. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we have questions for you. We do. Who's going to start? Well. I'm gonna go. Okay, Bye. so, because the fans are like, just get to it already. Um, so you started Adventure Time when you were 12, right? I was 12, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so here you are, um, eight seasons later. It's crazy. Um, I think we're actually. It's like 280 some episodes I think they actually ended up splitting it, so I think it's actually 10. By the, by the time we're done, it actually been like 10 seasons. Right, which wow. Is, right. Which is crazy, yeah. I think the last, the last season like just started airing. Yeah. Um, so cool. I mean, so, yeah. congratulations on that Thank because you. Yeah. to to have such a long run. Oh, it's. Is, I mean, it's it's crazy. Unique. It's rare too. Yes. It's super rare. We um we're just like people ask us like because they know the show is like coming to a close and they always ask like oh like are you guys like bummed that it's like ending mm -hmm. and and usually my answer is always like. But it's not ending. It's not. I mean, <laughs> it's it's Adventure Time. Like it'll go yes. on forever in yes. some way, shape, or form. And on top of that, like. Most shows don't get to leave that kind of footprint. You don't get to yeah, do it for totally. literally eight years of recording. They'll, they, right. You know, they I mean, usually go half that. So for us, right. we're just like stoked to have been a part of this. And it's this a thing. pop culture phenomenon. Yeah. And you have bullet train. When John DiMaggio was here, he was talking yeah. about like the bullet train in Taiwan. In Taiwan, yeah. the guy in Australia who painted his house. Like, you know, oh my gosh! I yeah, mean, yeah. what is it like for you? Obviously, when you go out into the world, you're doing conventions, mm -hmm. you meet people, to be a part of such. A phenomenon, and especially it's, you start this when you're 12, yeah. and as you you're coming up in years, I mean that's pretty. It's intense, pretty right? surreal. It's pretty weird. I mean, in, in a great way, but it, it is that weird thing of being like, um, this is such a big global thing that means mm -hmm. obviously so much to so many people, and um, and being a character that brings people that that much joy and happiness and makes them laugh and cry, mm -hmm. um, it's just a huge honor. And like, when you're younger, I guess when we first started doing the show, like. You never know how something is going to turn out or how right. it's going to be received. Even right. like the coolest stuff that you work on, you're like, "Oh, this is going to be this is going to be the one. This is going to be huge." Yeah. And then you're like, "No, oh, okay, that wasn't even." Yeah, that happened. <laughs> that was whatever. Um, and no yeah. one ever talks about it. And then like you're doing this animated show, and you know it's fun. You're having a good time doing it, but you're mm -hmm. not really expecting that much from it. Mm -hmm. um, and then like the first time that we went to San Diego Comic Con, and we like had our very first like panel which is like the, the first time i'd ever done like interviews for something or like you right. know being fans like signing autographs and stuff um it was just insane i was like the last person to be brought onto the panel and i hadn't looked out the curtain until i got onto the oh, panel and yeah. so like i walked up there and i was like oh <laughs> crap like there's people <laughs> oh hi uh, and i was like oh wow people actually like this show that's cool yeah. Yeah. um and so you don't really yeah you don't feel it as much until you do something like that and then mm -hmm. you then you understand it i guess um, and it's just that thing of like, especially now being 21 and going to, um, meeting fans now mm -hmm. and having people that are like my age come up and be like, oh, you were the voice of my childhood, dude. Like, <laughs> all growing like, up is listening to you. I'm like, yeah, childhood. I'm like the same, yeah, my we're the same age as you, bro. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. like kind of weird, but it's, but it's, it's cool. And, and yeah. you have a lot of just awesome responses from people in the vast majority are just really cool and just love the show. And, you know, we wouldn't be able to 
have made it as long as right, obviously right. they didn't. So. Absolutely. Well, your man. chemistry, John DiMaggio is Jake. The chemistry oh, the between best. you guys is yeah. wonderful. Plus, you're working with the best of the best, mm -hmm. voice director Andrea Romano. Mm -hmm. um, as you're working with these people, I mean, what kind of stuck to you as far as things you've learned, or did they give you advice? Because obviously they're yeah. down the road a little further than you oh, course, as far yeah. as working in the business. It was, I mean, it's, it's, I always say that, like, it was the best learning experience for voiceover that I could have possibly had, especially um, on Adventure Time, because when I started, I was 12, and I'd done, mm -hmm. like, a few, I'd done stuff before that, like, little guest star parts on shows, and, like, little radio commercials, and, and things like that, but that was the first, like, week-to-week, -week, like, really doing something um, with a big role, and... John DiMaggio being there week to week, uh, Tom Kenny obviously mm -hmm. being there, um, especially in the early days we had Dee Bradley Baker there a lot, right? Um, Hayden Walsh, and so like it was it was literally like being in a a class on a weekly basis with the best voice actors in the business, yeah. and so just watching them do their thing and learning from that, you literally couldn't pay to have that kind of experience. Oh my gosh, that kind yeah. of, um, and so I would say 100%, yeah, I learned so much from all of them, just just literally watching them do their craft um, on a weekly basis uh, and just like mimicking or, or just, you know, seeing how they do things. I mean, you really can't teach some of that stuff. And so, mm -hmm. uh, so that was just the best. It's the best experience I could possibly Immersion. have. Did you find yourself yeah. like during your parts and stuff like that after a little <laughs> while, like maybe implementing some of those little Oh, 100%, and yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and, and like from the big things to even like the little minute things by, uh, and by that I mean like even stuff that's like doesn't really matter that much but it actually does make a difference and just makes things easier. Like, uh, I think it was John who when I first started, uh, he literally showed me like the most uh, efficient way to like turn your pages on your little, uh, on the stands for like mm -hmm. the scripts um, and just like stupid stuff like that even. Um, and then, and then uh, mm -hmm. just seeing how they'll like come up with voices and like how they'll alter certain things, mm -hmm. um, and then just doing it, and even like at home or something, I'd like see someone do something, and then I'd have like a voiceover audition that week and something, and so I'd be like, "Oh, try this out. What the I'm heck?" Throw that in there. And yeah. then and then get to that point where like you don't really not that you don't care if you get something when you're auditioning necessarily, but you're like, "I'm fine not getting this. So what the heck? Even if this is totally wrong for the character." Mm -hmm. You have no idea, so you're right. like, might as well just try it out, see what happens, and then Absolutely. if they like it, give it your cool. best. Yeah, good for yeah. you. So, how did you get your role on Adventure Time? Take us back. Yeah, so Adventure Time, um, when I first auditioned for it, um, they had already made the little like seven minute uh, short when it was uh, mm -hmm. initially like a Nickelodeon pilot. Yeah, um, and then Nickelodeon didn't pick it up, and so they just like kind of released it as like a compilation of like little short tunes, basically. Um, and when they did that. It gained this huge like cult audience on YouTube, and the, the little short had like two or three million views or something. And then Cartoon Network picked it up to a series, and um, my older brother Zach had done the voice of the character in the original short. And so uh, there was like three years between that and when they picked it up to series, and they just probably assumed that his voice changed or whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and I auditioned, and my voice sounded just like just like his, like as close as you possibly could without being the actual person. Um, you are voice matching your brother. Yeah, no, literally. And I, like, my voice naturally sounded like yes. his because he was the same age that I pretty much was when right. he'd recorded it. Um, and then I, I mean, I, le I leaned into it a little bit, but I didn't even have to that much. And I went back a couple times. I got the job, and nobody knew I was his younger brother until the first day of recording. They just thought they got, I guess, kind of lucky with someone who sounded so right funny. like they wanted from the, trip, uh, the original. And then uh, obviously the entirety of the series, all 284, 85 episodes, it's all me. But mm -hmm. um, And actually... All the video game content, um, any of that type of stuff for like action figures and stuff is all me as well. So I don't think at this point any English speaking version of Finn for anything is not me. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's all me. Yeah. yeah. If there is if there's something that's not, it's <laughs> that's actually rare. I would love it's to see that. Clue. I'd be curious. Right? Exactly. I would love yes. to see it. You'd but... be like, wait a minute. Hey. That's that sounds like me, Kudos, but, it's not. but it's not. Hey, let's have a little bit of fun. Mm -hmm. Um can you share any audition mishaps <laughs> oh, slash yeah. stories that didn't go your way. You know, things didn't go your way. <laughs> oh, I have, yeah. I have, there's there's a there's a plethora of those. I'm sure every actor probably has. Them I know. Too. We don't. We, um, we're gonna, don't we're talk gonna about play a couple yeah. of those tracks now. We're, no. gonna, we're gonna change the names <laughs> or have, omit names yeah. to protect the guilty. <laughs> there's a there's there's a couple there's there's a couple for voiceover that I'm thinking of. There's a couple for on camera auditions as well. Yes. The one that I always that makes me laugh the most was actually an on camera audition, um, and it was for a 
like kind of a, a like a sitcom comedy type show or something. Um, you know, younger skewing kids network. Um, and I went in and obviously I won't say the person's name, but there is a casting person. Just say Bob. Let's call this we'll person call, Bob. We'll call, it was we'll, actually a woman, but we'll just say we'll Bob. We'll call her Bobby. We'll call her Bobby. Runs with so Roberta. Bobby <laughs> came in for Bobby, and uh, <laughs> Bobby didn't seem to be in a great mood to begin with, which is, you know, it happens. It's fine. It's all good. It's I'm just there to do job. my thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and so she's like, okay, let's just get into it. And I'm like, all right, let's, let's get into it. Cool. <laughs> so we start the scene, and I'm maybe, maybe three lines into this scene, and she goes, just stop. Stop. Just stop what you're doing. And I'm like, oh, God, this is bad. What have I done already? Um, and she's like, your voice. There's just something about your voice that is really grating. It's kind of annoying. Um, Can you change it? You, no, literally. She was, like, she was like, I don't know what it is. You have this almost mm, maybe sing-songy rhythm or something. Just, just stop doing that. Just try something else. <laughs> And me in my head, I'm like, try something else. Okay, that's literally just the normal way that I speak. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> and also on top of that, like I'd already been doing Adventure Time for probably, I think maybe three years at that point, and it was yeah. already like big. Right. So I didn't say this, but in the back of my head, I'm thinking like, Don't you know literally, I literally, I'm like the main voice on like the number one animated show in the world. <laughs> And I'm like not the confrontational person who's gonna right. say that because I just don't care enough. No but one calls it just me made me laugh. Yeah. No one calls me cloying over there. Yeah, that's hysterical, yeah. dude. So I we do that's it again. Funny. I finish the scene. And she's like, okay, thanks. I'm like, yeah. See you later, I left. Bye. I was like, oh, I think I think I'm I not getting that one. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna get <laughs> that job. So did you not get it? No, I did not. I'm okay, not gonna good. clear no. my week out. In I case think I, I didn't even go in for. I think I had a policy for a long time to never go into that casting office. Also after the fact. Um, but that one just, it, it was, it's one of those things where like it can, the wrong person, that can really affect them in a very bad way. Oh, yeah. Right. But me, I was just, I was so like befuddled <laughs> by the fact that she said that, that it just almost made me laugh. Yeah. I didn't even, it was just kind of funny to me and I just like, okay. Uh, and then there was a, there's definitely a couple voiceover ones there. Uh, I went in for one and, uh, well actually, this a lot of times. This is an audition or yeah, a Yeah, audition, audition, this okay. is an audition. So. Uh, usually, for the very first audition for voiceover stuff, you'll uh, do it on your phone or, or, or from like a home studio booth or right. something and send it in. And so I did one and I kind of did that and it was for a character that was like the hero character, the young kind of whatever. Um, and so I was like, okay, this person's basically just Finn. Makes sense. But I was like, but I don't want to do the exact same voice because A, that's boring to me to do that for like literally everything if it's the exact same. And so. I did something slightly different. Um, it was a little bit more character. It was still like it was still like a kind of a kid sounding, but it was still it was, it was different. Um, and so I sent it in, and then I got a call back, and I was like, "Oh, cool! They like that. Obviously, I'm getting called back it. for it." <laughs> so I go in, and I'm like stoked, and I'm like about to, I prepared this like thing that I like spent a lot of time on, and they're like, "Okay, well, let's let's try it once and see what happens." I was like, "Perfect." So I just do what I did in the uh, initial audition, right? And then they're like. Okay, give us a sec. And so <laughs> it's always the booth where you can see through the yes. thing, and you can always see the people in there talking, but you don't know what they're saying. And their heads right. are going like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're ordering. So lunch. The, the, the voice director's like, "Okay, great, thanks. Give us a sec." Turns, looks people in the back, and she's like, and they're kind of like, and I'm like, "Oh, where's this going?" And so uh, this is also like not Cartoon Network; it's a different network. Yeah. Um, and the reason that comes into play is so she comes back in the scene. She's like, "Okay, um, that's really great, but." Maybe, uh, could you just use something that's like, um, higher register, more, uh, natural sounding, very energetic, and I'm like, pretty much just thin, I assume, uh, uh without them being able to say that, because they yeah, legally yeah, yeah. can't say that, right. um, yes. and so I'm like, okay, great, so I just did it pretty much that way, and they're like, okay, awesome, thanks, I was like, cool, sweet, so yeah. why don't you just basically say that to begin with, we just want... <laughs> Yeah. We this want this person. character yeah. changing we, up a little bit. Yeah. Just make it kind of different, but really not, because we just want that voice over here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh, it's bad. I love that. So, um, I mean, and now you guys do that all the time, right? I mean, you have characters that people want to hear. Oh, and of course, you change yeah. them up a little bit, yeah. and, and bam, you have a new character. There's a good, yeah, there's a good natural tone there, especially with something like Finn. And that's why, like, I don't even... I could care less if someone's like, what pretty much Finn, just do that. For the it's people like that the, don't know or that may not know, yeah. what does Finn sound like? Oh, yeah, Living so... This is my normal voice. Um, when I first started doing Finn, it was much closer to my normal voice. Yeah. Pretty voice change. Puberty, hey! Nice, good um, times. But now, it's obviously not. And so now it's more like, um, <clears throat> hey, what's going on, Jake? 
Oh no, Princess Bubblegum! It's just, it's definitely, it's up there yeah, in the yeah, higher yeah. range. It's, it's yeah. younger sounding. Uh, it's definitely more higher pitch. Does that kill your voice at all doing that or no? No, surprisingly not. I mean, if I was doing it for like four hours straight, if like mm -hmm. with nothing else, like when I have to like a video game record, that will like, of course. by the end you're like, uh, I can't. I need to I be need quiet. Break. Yeah. But whenever we're just recording an episode, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's the whole cast there and it's only like 30 pages yeah. and, and most of it's, you know, it's, it's divided up between different characters mm -hmm. and stuff. So doing a record for an episode is not a problem at all. That's so totally cool, man. Yeah. Um, well, so you, you brought it up. So you basically kind of, you know, went through your voice change in front of the whole world. Oh, yeah. So that's good times there. That's fun. How was that? I mean, that... Was that a problem? Or? Uh, no, and sometimes it can be, for sure. Yeah. There's, a lot of, there's a lot of kid actors that get recast on shows because they go through voice change, they don't sound the same, and they want that mm -hmm. um, kind of younger voice. Um, and for us, my voice change started happening during the first season, because I was 12, so usually around the time uh, and in the show Finn has a lot of like voice cracking he screams right. a lot um, and my voice just cracked naturally without my control and so that there's a lot of that and they're like hey we kind of like it it sounds more natural it sounds cool <laughs> it's only gonna last for a yeah, month yeah. <laughs> they're yeah. like it's great um, so they just went with it and then there was that point where I was like am I just gonna get like recast yeah uh, and a fan actually asked that like at a comic-con and uh, the creator, Penn Ward, was like, no, no, we're not going to recast him. We're going to, uh, Finn's going to age throughout the show. Um, and maybe I'll just start drawing him with like more of a gut or something. Right. So, so that was, that was, that part was more of a joke. He gets um, chest hair. Um, that was a joke. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but yeah, throughout the show, Finn actually does age, which is really, really cool. Most, mm. most animated characters usually don't right. do that. Right. Um, and so then I think by the time like third season rolled around, my voice was done changing. And then it was just like a character voice from then on out. Um, and I'm actually, and I'm, at that point, I'm able to do like the voice cracking and the funny parts when he likes to like yeah. scream and stuff. Yeah. Um, and it still it still works, but yeah, I was I was lucky to have that be the case and not be recast. I know. <laughs> totally, man. I know. That's and the good pretty... thing is that when your voice changed, you actually got better. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. I mean, it actually, so, it had it it became instead of it de being more or less just my normal voice, yeah. it actually is not my normal voice anymore. It's but more I can right, do it, which right? Is cool. right, right. Yeah, which is fun. That's right. so cool. That's great. Uh, so Jeremy. Um, the, the the time that I met you, one of the things that I distinctly remember is that mm. you were doing talking tunes. Twisted, Twisted, Twisted tunes. tunes. I'm sorry. Twisted talking tunes. tunes. Talking tunes. Rob That's Rob Wilson. Wilson. Hey. 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 Uh, <laughs> Twisted tunes. And I remember Hi, you Jeff. were out there and you did this incredible impersonation <laughs> of Christian Bale's Batman. Thank you. And everybody in the Thank audience you. just mm. went freaking berserk. It's, you have to do it for us. I, I, and, and first it's, of all, what's fun. the whole chemistry behind it? Because you change your whole freaking face. Yeah, so, I mean, you can do, like, the... I mean, everybody has probably their version of, like, Christian Bale's Batman yeah. voice. Um, but the fun thing is, if you look at his, how he does it and what it yeah. actually is, it's not just... It's not just the voice, but he actually has a very specific thing he does with his mouth when he does the voice. Yeah. yeah. Instead of just, like, talking like this and being like, I'm Batman. Like, that doesn't actually change anything. Yeah. He pushes his tongue out and actually goes more like this. He's like... <laughs> Where are they? He perches his lips and his tongue is actually forward, which causes that very specific, uh, very specific sound. And so it's more like, um, it's not my words that define me, but what I do. You know, and he's pushing yeah. it out like that. Okay. So it's, oh, every time, I, uh, it's, it's fun pulling that on a panel. And usually when we do Twisted Tunes, obviously I'm getting characters that are, you know, have lines that usually would not would translate not, to being yeah. Batman. Totally. Yes. And so when you do them as Batman, it just is that much more is that much yes. more fun. What are you talking about? I have a great butt. You know, anything like that. And so uh, it's fun, <laughs> and I think people don't usually expect it from like this little kid. I mean, not kid, but like you know, I'm very small. Yeah, and slight, it's a giant and they're voice for, like, coming out of thin, it. It's just like a kid voice and stuff. Oh, yeah. so, so, so it's always it's always fun to see, and just to see people's reaction to like me doing that is always. I uh, love it. Man. Awesome. I love I that. Love it. And you're so talented, dude. I'm sorry, so Stacey. Versatile. I'm gonna hog him a little bit more. Well, okay? I'll hog him back. I can <laughs> take you. Can hog back after this I can question. take you. I'll give him to you right after this okay. question. So. So you do a lot of cons, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and they're fun, man. I mean, I've been oh, to quite a few of them, and they're they're a blast. But besides the fun and besides the yep. money, is there anything else that you really love about doing these cons? I mean, yeah, you get to. The, I mean, the great thing is like, not in a weird way, but it's it is a great way to just promote what you're working on um, and get to actually meet the fans. 
um, and give them an opportunity to meet the people that are behind the things they love. And so yeah. it's it's a it's a cool opportunity just to kind of give back. I mean, if if it's not for the fans, then we really don't have people that are <laughs> watching the shows and are really <laughs> right. giving us the jobs that we get to do. Right. Um, and so that and that way, it, it's fun to just give back and just meet people. And you have, I mean. So many of them are just very, very cool people that just love the work and they just kind of geek out with you. And, and we love doing what we do. So it's just, it's just really fun. And then there's also that, there's also that aspect of um, people that I have, especially for like Adventure Time. I have people come up to me all the time that are like, "Hey, you know, um, I was I was battling with like depression or just going through a really tough time in my life, and like that was the one thing that like got me through." Or I always was looking forward to like coming home, turning on the TV and watching Adventure Time. It like always puts a f smile on my face. Um, and so those moments, you, you you see how much that effect actually has on people, yeah. and it it's it's making people laugh, which is so important and so needed, uh, and so I guess underrated in some ways, and Absolutely. and making them have tears of joy from from laughter, or or if you can have this emotional connection with the character, um, and it helps them with stuff in their life, which is which is great, and yeah. so it's just it's just a great way to kind of give back and meet those people in person, mm -hmm. and and uh, it doesn't cost me anything to, to do that, obviously. Um, and so it's it's just, it's a lot of fun to have that opportunity to be that um, that point for someone and be a role model, I guess, in certain ways as well. Absolutely. But have you ever had a Absolutely. fan come up to you with an emotional story that really like tugged your heartstrings? Yeah, I mean, I've had, there's there's actually, there's a lot. It's, I mean, there's there's specific ones and there's, there's some that it's, I mean, like, I've had people that, I mean, they're like parents were, uh, there's one boy, um, his parent was, I think his dad had just passed away of cancer, um, and so him and his mom had like watched. I mean, they well, him and his dad had watched the show before his dad passed mm -hmm. away, um, and so it was like the one. Th I mean, it, I don't know if it was like the one thing, but it was like a thing that really kind of got him got him through it because that's what they watched together. And so after he passed away, uh, him and his mom like continued to watch it and stuff, and it was just mm -hmm. kind of like their thing. Um, and it was just, I mean, it's just like a, uh, I guess, a way for him just to kind of put a smile on his face and just it just. Gave him like a lot of laughter. Yeah. Just love the show, and so there's there's so many so many things like that. And there's also um, I've had a lot of parents come up to me with um, uh, either uh, a lot of kids with like autism or, sure. or um, and or Aspergers, mm -hmm. uh, and they I, for I mean for whatever reason they just they love the show, and it just it's it's a way for them to help kind of I guess connect and have communication with. Uh, and this one mom come up and she's like, oh, this for whatever reason, like Adventure Time has like helped me like communicate with mm -hmm. um, my daughter in so many wow. different ways. Um, yeah. And yeah. so that type of stuff you never expect, and you don't even totally, you man. don't even fully can grasp that or understand why that's the case. But yes. it, but it is. Um, to them, your voice is not grating and annoying. To them, it's See? not. Yeah. To them, it's See? not. You to got them, the job with them, <laughs> which is great. Oh Thank you. God. If only they were casting it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> my goodness. Um, All right, Stacy, you can have. So them. obviously, having success, being in the spotlight. At any age can be overwhelming. Yeah. But you came to this at a young age. And clearly, age. every kid that is thrust in the spotlight hails yeah. it so well. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's bad. That's bad we job. have footage of Jeremy last <laughs> We're weekend. We're going to keep that in. Um, yeah. uh, but you have remained. You've remained oh, very thank grounded. You, I, I hope you really so. have. And and when you talk to people that have worked with you and people that know you, it's always you know you're a really eloquent, <clears throat> classy young man. Thank you. So kudos to you for that, and obviously, you know, your parents, and mm -hmm. so how have you stayed seemingly uh, grounded and Oh, well, humble? you mentioned, I think, a big part of it, which is literally is my parents. I mean, there's 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 a lot of times when you'll see kids that, um, you know, they're on a show that blows up, or, or music that, you know, goes yeah. huge, um, and either A, they don't have a great relationship with their parents, or they don't have parents, I guess, that are willing to kind of tell them when they're being stupid, and kind mm -hmm. of, I guess, reel them in a little bit, because when you're... When you're younger and you have stuff like that, it's so easy for it to all go to your head, and it's so easy just to kind of take everything for granted and, I don't know, and just not be thankful for what you have, especially yeah. if you haven't worked for it. And so, A, having um, my mom and my dad are just, just amazing. They're just the sweetest people in the world um, and have always been so grounded and just so family-oriented and making sure that outside of um, the work that I did that I was just having, like, a normal mm -hmm. kind of childhood and, like, upbringing. And, and I have right. such, like... All my like close friends that I've grown up with, I like met through like my church, and literally like my closest friends I've grown up with for like 15 years, like almost, almost 15 years, and so like mm -hmm. in all of them, like I was friends with those people before like, I really oh, okay. did anything, and so it's like they could care less, you know, <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah. and that's why you're like they're know, the bestest friends, that. you know, like I don't, yeah. they don't give a crap about <laughs> what I'm doing, whatever. We're just yeah. like hanging out and playing video games or like whatever the stupid stuff is that we do, um, and so having like that close friend group and having my parents that are just in my family, so my brothers, and my sister. Um, that I'm super close with, but 
just having a really grounded family that's just mm -hmm. normal um, yeah. is super, super helpful. And then on top of that, there's a lot of people that I think kind of blow up or get very, very huge very, very quickly. Um, but for me, I started acting when I was like six years old. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm 21 now, so it's been what, like 15 years or something like mm -hmm. that. Um, and what I didn't. And that didn't math? Yeah, gosh. You, see? Something paid off in school. Stay in I school, guess. Kids, yeah. See, math was never my strong suit, so I'm surprised <laughs> I actually yeah. did that correctly. Um, <laughs> usually, I was more of an English kid. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I like. I just kind of worked consistently, but not like really huge stuff for a very, very long time. But enough to get by and enough to keep working and, and keep having fun with it. And so I think for me, having to really work at it for a long period of time and having it kind of be a steady yeah, increase a in work yeah. as opposed to just being like, boom, the first thing I ever did is like, the this biggest massive. Thing ever. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. Um, and so it gives you way more of an appreciation for it because then when you do book a job, you're like actually excited for it because you've gone out on 150 things that right. you didn't hear anything back from. Yeah. And then you finally get one and you're like, all right, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Woof. And then when you get in the job, like you actually are treating it with that much more respect yeah. and care right. and right. making sure that you're doing your job right because you are thankful for it, I guess. So yeah. that's very cool, man. Yeah. And your yeah. dad, I mean, it, d your dad plays a little bit of a role in, mm -hmm. in your whole thing. Well, does he kind of co-manage or what does he do? Yeah, so I mean, I have like my actual management team, but then my right. dad, I mean, when I, when, we, when I first started out, it was pretty much just him helping out, like I want to do acting, and he was like, oh gosh, how does this even work, <laughs> you know? Yeah, um, Google. We didn't, yeah, <laughs> literally, we didn't come out here for acting in any way, shape, or form, and so they didn't know how to do any of that, but but he's always been a very hardworking guy, and is very smart, um, and has been very supportive, and so he's helped immensely in ways that I literally cannot even mm -hmm. explain, um, but he kind of helps with my managers and stuff as well, and then for like public appearance stuff, um, he handles all that for me, so I don't have to be the bad guy at times, which is great. Right, that's um, right. Cool, man. I love it. And then he's just my dad. I love him to death, and so we'll do a lot of traveling together. Um, and so yeah, I mean, in a lot of ways, he does like manage yeah. stuff, and it's just good having someone there to bounce ideas off of and be like, hey, like, what do you think about yeah. this? Yeah. And just having some good uh, counsel and good wisdom from yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's gonna know you and better than that, your dad. He is super cool. Yeah. And he's the coolest guy. I remember yeah. meeting him, and it was like, I, first of all, I didn't even know it was your dad. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was just like some cool dude hanging yeah. out, you know. <laughs> But he's really, really super cool. That's you guys right. have a really, really cool relationship. I'm glad Congrats. you're being taken care of. Yeah. I can rest easy now. Mm -hmm. Well, that is part one with Jeremy Shada. Stick around for part two coming at you next week. Yes, and follow us all on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And just remember, you, you always, always have, have time, time for, for a little, little buzz, buzz. And to leave some comments below. Yes. Come on. Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo That Rock. Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit DemosThatRock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.